All right, we are back with some Planet Crafter. So I decided to do some um, base redesign off camera. It didn't take too long, so we didn't make too much progress as far as terraformation index. I think we went from 10 or 11 to 15, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not that much. Um, because in order to redesign my base, here, you can see on the outside, I basically brought it off the ground a bit more using foundations, foundations here, and then I deleted the foundations. Now it looks like it's floating, so I might put some foundations underneath to, uh, you know, so that it doesn't look so silly. But basically what I did is instead of using living compartments, for the most part, I'm using big living compartments. And they have so much more space. They're basically four living compartments put together, but you don't have this separator, which is great. So I had to tear everything down. I made a bunch of more lockers to sort everything, iron and titanium, and uh, from here on out, I just started using the um, uh, atomic names. Uh, what are they called? The MG for magnesium, SI for silicon, um, aluminum, cobalt, sulfur, and so on. Seeds, food, and then these aren't used yet. And these are just uh, for overflow. So everything's looking more organized. I got all my screens up and I got this screen, the, um, what's it called? Progress, progress screen. I never built that before, but it shows the progress to the next stage. We are 27%, 27.9% to lakes. So we are on our way. Now, since I had to tear everything down, I had to tear down all of my heat generators. Uh, some of my oxygen generators were upstairs, if you remember. So we got to rebuild all of that. Let's build the T3 heaters. I think before we had like two. Let's build three of them. We need three aluminum and three silicon. And three titanium. Okay. You're going right in the corner. All right, um, can we build one more? We need iridium rods, but I can't use all my rods. Uh, what else do we need first? Let's see, we need to make our food growers again. Um, actually, let's build one more heater. We can afford it. Aluminum, where's aluminum? Silicon, titanium, okay so this is going to be more heat than uh, we were generating previously before I tore it all down. Alright, what were we going to build? Food growers, aluminum and water bottle. How many types of seeds do we have? 
eggplant, squash, beans, mushroom. Let's build one of each. We need iron, four iron, or water. And I want to build these down here so they're easily accessible. I'll build them over here. Start growing our food again. They do take quite a bit of energy. 15. Okay, now what else do we need? Uh, we can't build that. We had a biodome before. We didn't have a biolab. Maybe we could build that. What do we need for a biodome? Super alloy, two cobalt, aluminum. Seed Lerma and two titanium. Okay, let's have a look outside. Could branch it off right here. That would not be a bad idea. Okay. Now, the biolab we cannot build. We have the osmium now. We got from the cave, but we need super alloy. Okay, so we'll grab some super alloy for that. Uh, what else can we build? More, we can build more veggie tubes. Easy. That's just aluminum, silicon, magnesium. We can build two of them. And we need seeds to put in them. All these great multipliers. Oxygen, 13 per second. Uh, how about the algae? 127 per second. But we need more bioplastic. Good God. Right, but this is without the multiplier. Oh, I need water. Hydration, yeah. Ah, shoot. I'm not getting enough water. I need to make some. Okay. Let's put these down. Get some oxygen going. Never mind. Oh, I want to build this so bad. Alright. How much energy does it take? Seven... Yeah, we're almost out of energy. Um, let's just throw down 
a solar panel. Iron, two cobalt. And what else? Aluminum? Okay. And probably need two silicon. Okay. Let's toss these things down. Ah, one more magnesium. seeds inside what kind of seed you got 600 percent good god 200 300 400 300 do we have any more 300 percent seeds uh we got one Okay, we'll replace one of these seeds. Two hundred. All right. So what about this algae thing? You're making something. Algae. Well, I'm sure I'll need it for something. We'll put you in the food locker. Okay, um, let's eat some food. Bring some food with us. Uh, now, what do I want to do? So, the biolab is the next thing I want to build. I need super alloys. There might be some more super alloys to the north. Or... Before we check there... Let's go back to this ship over here. I think we left some super alloys in the chest over here. I know we left a lot of good stuff in there. We've also got the melted ice over there. We can explore that uh, cavern there. Getting dark. I 
I want to launch another rocket this episode too. Uh, no. Well, we got one super alloy. Uh, we got bioplastic. We can use that. Fertilizer. Alright, some good stuff, but not enough super alloys. Anyway, this probably takes a lot of energy. 40. Okay, so we'll have to build more solar panels. We might be able to build another nuclear reactor. No. We need three super alloy for that. Unfortunately, the large living quarters... Um, Living compartments require super alloys, so I used quite a few of them for that. But I think there's some more super alloys here that we haven't gotten yet. And if we need to, we can make some. Might not be a bad idea. We'll have to use some aluminum to craft them. But I'm pretty sure, I, I assume all resources are, in the end, renewable somehow, in some form. Alright, we got our our grass growing. Uh, let's put our seeds away. Fertilizer. Bioplastic. I'll put you in the foods. Actually, uh, you're going here. This is my miscellaneous. Okay, um, do I want to just make two super alloys? I can do that. But if I need 40 energy, how much energy we have available? Five. I'm going to need, well, just two solar panels. That's not bad. Let's do that. Iron and aluminum. Okay, now we should have enough energy or what we want. I shall take the water bottles. I can use them later. So I'll store them in my locker. Uh, we want Biolab. So we need two super alloys. How do we make super alloys? Cobalt, iron, magnesium, silicon, titanium, aluminum. We need cobalt and magnesium. We don't have enough of that. 
That lake is getting bigger. Kinda looks nice. I'm gonna have some uh, beachfront property here. Pretty soon. Alright, I think that's all we need. Where did I put it? There it is. Alright, what do you take? One aluminum. Biolab. Okay, I'm gonna put you... I wanna attach you to this thing. I think. Or maybe next to it, like... Can't attach it this way. I could do something like... Hmm. Well, we'll just attach it here. You're a 2x2? Two two? Okay. We'll do that. Now let's have a look at our new toy. The heck are you? You're a bubble generator? Oh, this is how we get, uh, oh nice. Hey, explosive powder. If we get explosive powder, we can build a nuclear reactor. T2. That's going to give us so much energy. What does that take? Two sulfur and iridium? We found sulfur. Oh, we had a super alloy there. Oh well. Okay, now, for the reactor T2, we need fuel rods. We can do that. Uh, how much more uranium do we have? Can we make another fuel rod? Um... Okay, we can only make one more fuel rod. That's not going to be enough for two reactors. We're going to get one back after we disassemble it. But it's still not going to be enough. We need one super alloy and we got one. Oh, but we can disassemble all three of them and get three rods back. Uh, that's perfect. Let's try this. Okay. Energy, 331, 86. Um, now what if... I 
I disassemble those. And then I grab the fuel rod. I have one more. Let's line up those pipes. Ah, good enough. Now we've got power for days. And because we deconstructed those reactors, we got so much super alloy back, which is awesome. So how much power we got? 408 kilowatt per hour available. That's crazy. We gotta get this number going up higher. What do we need to build? Plants would be nice. Flower spreader. Uh, we have a fertilizer. We can do that. Okay, so the flower flower spreader will will give us 161 oxygen per second. Uh, but the main benefit is the plants. That's 9.2 per second. That's much more than we're getting from the grass or algae. Alright, we'll have a nice flower bed right there. We'll check on that later. Let's launch. Ooh, can we launch another rocket? Rocket engine. Iridium rod to uranium. Do I have any iridium rods? Yes. I'll just make another one. Okay, I think I'm going to launch a rocket that gets us uranium because I'm kind of running out. And let's see what we need for that. I wish I could check the recipe here. Can I? No. Okay, so the re uranium will give us a heat generation bonus. Okay. We need one more cobalt. I'll just pick up this extra stuff. We'll need it later, I'm sure. Now before we launch it, I want to take a look at our heat generation and see how much it increases. I don't think it'll go up 10 times again. Heat. 11.55. So if I'm right, and this bonus is just added onto the other bonus, then we should be getting like 1700. I think. There it goes, and 
Here come the asteroids. There they are. Let's go check our heat bonus. Our heat generation. Uh, no, it's 2300. It just doubled again. Right? I think it did. Huh. I was not expecting that. What does it take to make fertilizer? Oh, al uh, three algae. Okay, that's what algae is for. Bioplastic is mushrooms. Oh, okay. So we're going to need more sulfur. I think we used it all. Alright, well. Let's put our stuff away. Eat that. Drink that. Um, where do we want to go? I want to go explore something. We need more sulfur. We need more osmium. Probably. Let's go. Let's get some food. Are these done? They're done. Okay, there was the, uh, over there, there was that um, inaccessible passage. But the ice has melted, I think. There's some uranium. We'll grab that when we get back. I think it'll, the, the asteroid debris will stay there for a while. So I'm not worried about it despawning. Uh, but let's go explore. Oh. We need materials for... Uh, living compartment. We need more iron. Let's explore that passage. Oh no, it wasn't over here. It was in here. Right up here. Hey, it's melted. Mostly. There's still a blob. One little blob. Is it still melting? Starts melting at a hundred nano Kelvin. We're not there yet. Whoa, this place is... It's like a cloud of acid. This must be where I find the sulfur. Aluminum, I'll take it. A 
Let's build a living compartment. Okay. Hey, there we go. Sulfur. I don't really recognize its uh, yellow color in here because everything is yellow. What do we get? Yeah, that's supposed to be a blue storage crate. You know, it would be great if I could find some super alloys in here. Oh, is that the... the ship we explored earlier? I think it is. So this canyon was another uh, another way into that clearing there. All right, I'm going to go back in. Get some more sulfur. We don't need a lot of sulfur right now, but it's good to collect it while we're here for the future. We'll need it for more uh, explosives, more nuclear reactors. Okay, we're running low on oxygen. Let's see if we can build another living compartment. Iron. I need iron. We'll see how far this goes. Whoa. We've got a sulfur waterfall. Uh, I'm kind of... Oh, super alloys. Well, I can walk in it and not get hurt. So that's good. Give me more super alloys. Are they all hidden in this cloud? Oh man, I hit the jackpot. I'm not going to have enough room for all this. Oh my god, it's a cave. Osmium. I'll take the osmium for sure. Oh, yep. Oh, I want that microchip. And I want that seed. Alright, we don't need the aluminum for now. We can get rid of it. Uh, drink that, take the osmium. 
We can come back for the rest later. Oh yeah, there's so much good stuff here. We got osmium, we got sulfur. We got super alloys. Oh, that's good stuff too. Yeah, we gotta come back here for sure. Let's get back to base, find out what's in this microchip. And when we're when we get back, we'll probably uh, build a bunch of something. Uh, I guess we can go this way. I want to build a bunch of maybe mining drills just to get our, our pressure going. Because we got all that extra power. Might as well. What is that? Is that a ladder? Oh my god. Is this a base? Seed Lerma. Message. Our ship has crashed for an unknown reason on this planet. Many of us died on impact. Some of us died on the surface. I'm the only one left. I tried to survive, but this land is too hostile. My health is getting bad. I'm going outside one last time to try to find some water. Iklus. Well, I guess he didn't make it. I can't get the seed. Oh, more good stuff. Oh, great. All right, sorry, aluminum. Let's eat our food, too. I'll take the fabric. And we'll have to come back for that. This is... I don't have a marker or anything I can put down, right? I can put down an area lamp. Okay. Okay. I think I'll be able to spot that from a distance. I can just remember it's near this rock here. I gotta go back there. Oh yeah, I gotta pick up the uranium as well. Hmm, I'll probably want to do that before anything else. I don't want it to despawn. There it is. It's still there. Alright, we'll put our stuff away. Oxygen low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make it. And... Critical, yeah. Uh, almost dead. Alright, put our stuff away. Sulfur, where does sulfur go? Here. Cobalt goes there? Okay, whatever. All right, let's see what's on these chips. Uh, right here. Here we go. Decode. Mining speed T4. I don't really need that, but good to have a fence. Hmm, okay. So I guess the, um, 
the blueprints you get from chips are mostly like building structures and stuff. Not they don't give you things that generate uh, that help your uh, terraforming index. That's all gained by just completing the game, I suppose. All right, um, launch a rocket. Can I do it? Can I launch one more real quick? Running out of time. Two uranium super alloy. What do I need to launch a pressure rocket? Oh yeah, I got my uh, jetpack. All right. Three silicon, two super alloy. Ow. Oh, I didn't get hurt. So this jetpack it doesn't let me jump up like jetpack higher. Oh, it does. Oh God. Okay. The control is a little bit weird. Three silicon. I'm going to launch this rocket and then we'll, we'll be done. And then I think I'll collect, I'll just run around and collect the uranium and iridium off camera because that part's kind of probably boring we got more rockets I can launch a GPS satellite too probably do that next time launch do it all right Well, we're almost halfway there. And I think those two rockets we launched will help quite a bit. And next time we will add, we'll, we'll throw down more miners, throw down more whatever else we need to get our pressure, biomass, heat up. And I'll go collect those minerals now. <laughs> 